fake kid exposed. As Megan wet her pants, as the photographer Chris leaked Archie's unedited christening pic, lack of ear. Archie's christening on July 6 was a joyous occasion for the House of Windsor, and the public was treated to the first set of photos showing off Master Archie's entire face and his childhood as his father's mini-me has officially begun. So either this sweet event, steeped in the royal tradition, end up leaving a bitter upper taste behind the sun. The photos taken by Chris Allerton show baby Archie surrounded by his closest family members. In the photo, Duchess Camilla, Prince Harry, Meghan Markle and baby Archie and Kate Middleton were seated for the photo. Standing behind them were Prince Charles, Doria Ragland, Princess Diana's sister, Lady Jane Fellows and Lady Sarah McLabberdale and Prince William. The Duke and the Duchess also shared the photo on their Instagram account, along with a special message. However, there were speculations that Archie's christening photo was heavily photoshopped. I'm not the only usually a conspiracy theory person, but I find it odd that Archie changes in looks quite dramatically for each photo. I am not surprised that she kept them hidden. I'm surprised she's never talked about either of her pregnancies or birth stories. She wasn't worried that the stress from this wasted family could be dangerous to the baby, especially considering her age. In it was her first pregnancy. She was originally going to be home birth in a tub. And why did she change her mind? Before the palace representatives said that Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's determination to keep the details of their son Archie's birth, completely secret, had resulted in tears of frustration and despair behind the scenes. According to a source, Meghan has unrealistic expectations of her reality to deceive the public, and that she underestimated the intelligence of the public, as one only the naive would be fooled by. As Meghan's fake pregnancy using a baby bomb prothesis, the newborn baby Darren Doll carried by Harry a few days after supposed birth, the Photoshop Chris Lopez, the Photoshop picture of the Queen, Doria, etc. With Meghan holding the baby Darren doll in the hallway, the larger doll draped on the front of Meghan when walking the dogs in Canada, and the story time video with a borrowed baby who didn't know Meghan, as the fake voice of Archie on the podcast. If Archie exists, he was born by a surrogate, and she has kept him. And my understanding is that in the UK, the surrogate is the legal mother of the child until she agrees to form of abortion. A reporter had published Megan's statement that she had nothing to do with finding freedom, as later Megan was forced to admit to court that this was a lie. After this experience, the reporter had said, you can't believe a word that comes out of Megan's mouth. Recently, a ballet dancer also expressed her views on Meghan's pregnancy. She had said, I am a classically trained ballet dancer who performed with the company for a couple of years. I taught ballet through two pregnancies, and I'm not bragging. But it was incredibly shape, and I did a thousand plies. No way you can choose your knees with a fetus in there. I promise you, Meghan Markle was not pregnant. She had squatted in stilettos, repeatedly in the last trimester with her knees closed. Impossible. Also, she was recovering from a bunion surgery. Ouch. And impossible a uh, hundred times over. Takes a month to heal, and I started following Megan. Fascinated, because I knew she was faking it, and not a shadow of doubt in my mind. Although there are many conspiracy theories about these children, Megan and Harry never speak out to confirm their existence. <laughs>